on script. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody um, from here where I sit in Cambridge, Massachusetts to across the world. It's such a privilege for me to be part of this very special event, the 15th USAIC annual Bio Summit. It's my fifth year having the great privilege to serve as Master of Ceremonies. I'd like to make a few opening comments and then we'll start with just an absolutely incredible agenda. Uh, if we can get the first slide up, please, uh, Priyam. Um, we live today in just a remarkable world. If we can go to the next slide, please. And we've named our summit from over the past couple of years and it remains this year from N of one to N of a billion. And it's meant to signify the great innovation that we're seeing in our industry. Innovation that's taking us to the point where we can make therapies tailored to even single patients. That's just remarkable. But we haven't done our jobs unless we can ensure that there's access to these therapies to the billions of patients who live around the world. And this past year has been the greatest illustration of that need ever in the history of our industry. But let's look back at innovation over the last decade. We are in, we are in the golden era of life sciences. Many believe that in this century, we have the opportunity, if we don't get in our own ways, to cure every disease. What we've seen over the last decade has been remarkable. If you look across any number of indicators, let's just go to the US and FDA, where we see year on year, an increasing number of approvals, and not just approvals of any medicine, but of incredibly novel medicines, particularly of advanced therapies like cell and gene therapies. What we've seen in terms of investment in our industry has just been remarkable. And I think we were all blown away at the continued trends that we saw even during the pandemic last year, a 50%, almost 50% year on year increase for financing in our industry, just really remarkable. If we can go to the next slide, please. If we can go to the next slide, please, Priyam, yeah. And certainly, it's been nine months since we last gathered here at USAIC. The world has changed immensely. We've lived through a pandemic that continues to rage on worldwide. Just two weeks ago, we passed a grim milestone. More deaths globally in 2021 than in all of 2020 due to COVID-19. Next slide. Many have called this virus, the SARS-CoV-2, by its technical name, the inequality virus. What we've seen is great discrepancies across the world in terms of access to medicines. We, even within regions of the world, like United, the United States, we've seen great inequities across racial groups. This is something that we have to solve collectively as an industry. If you go to the next slide, please. Today we see we're coming out of this incredible situation in the US, but we have parts of the world that are still languishing. You know, India, which is a major focus for this group, the sixth largest economy, still only has 3% of its population vaccinated. What we've done though collectively, and we'll hear from Albert Borla just shortly, over the past year has been equally amazing and also humbling. We've come together as an industry, we've collaborated, we have found new ways of working, we've accelerated the development of vaccines and therapies in ways that none of us ever would have imagined uh, possible. If we go to the next slide, please. And let me just say that there are two, there are two places that I leave from this pandemic. The first is thinking about pandemics and our responsibility collectively as a life science ecosystem. I would say that if we look back over the last year, um, we were both incredibly skilled. I mean, the work that came out of so many companies, the collective collaborative efforts of industry, academia, governments, and not-for-profits was truly unprecedented. We were also lucky. Let's be realistic. We were lucky. We knew that this virus was coming. We weren't prepared as we should have been. And we were lucky that the virus, you know, didn't look like SARS or MERS or Ebola. We were lucky in many ways that the mortality rates were only, and I say only, 
about 1%. But luck isn't a strategy. We have huge learnings that we can take out of this past year and apply them to the future. And we have to be ready for the next pandemic because we know, we know that it will come. And if we go to the last slide, please, before I hand off, um, if we go to the last slide, please. The slides have come off, uh, Priyam. If we can just uh, go to the last slide. And I'll just say that I'm an optimist and you need to be an optimist in our industry. You need to recognize that what we do, if we go to the last slide, what we do is we overcome nature. And that's like, almost magical. I'm a huge optimist. And I think that if we go to the next slide, please, the last slide, there are better days ahead. There are much better days ahead. We're coming out of an awful pandemic. We're coming out of it with immense learnings, with immense successes. And we're coming out of it in an industry that's fully leveraging and embracing innovation.